Okay, my name is Jill and I'm excited to have you here and I'm doing something that I do on uh, Make Card Monday. We're doing that on Facebook Live on Monday. It's sometimes in the afternoon, some, whenever we can all get together. Anyway, and I'm going to show you this um, Beauty um, Abounds stamp set and I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. I haven't um, really stamped a simple stamping card, but I'm using ink and our note cards and envelopes and these stamps. And I like these colors. So we've got Calypso Coral, Melon Mambo, and Bermuda Bay. So I'm just going to open these up. I'm stamping on the fly. Public stamping 101. <laughs> okay, so I love polka dots. So I'm, I think I'm going to start with that. And I think I'm going to do it where I stamp off. Okay, so I'm going to just do them all over the place. I like stamping off because if I want to go full strength with something later on, I can do that. Okay, I'm just going to stamp this up twice because I just want to lightly speckle. Speckle uh, stamps have been around for a long time with stamping up and I just absolutely love them because they're great fillers if you don't know what to do. Okay, so there's kind of a background. And I'm using our cleaning pad. As you can see, it's been well loved. Chamois. Ah. Okay, so our friendship isn't one big thing. I think I'm going to use that somewhere. And let's see if I want to use this. Ah. Okay, I think I'm going to do this in full strength. Let's do it in the pink, in our melon mambo. We've had so many colors over the years, it's hard for me to remember all the colors. Okay, so that's the dark. And I think I'm gonna use this right here. Actually, I think I wanna use pink too, the melon mambo. And this is just simple, you know, cause I have a hard time, sometimes I, overwhelm people by doing too much. So as demonstrators, we, you know, we've got to remember there are beginning people out there. So they're not all like us. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put the butterflies on these other blocks. These are the new cling stamps and they're amazing. Full strength there. So let's see, let's do right here. And of course, we've got to do our envelope. We can't have a naked envelope. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay, so it's just a very simple card. Our friendship isn't one big thing. And there's the envelope. So, Stamps, ink, and paper. Okay, that's difficult because I want to put some little doodads on it. But <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to show you. I'm just going to put these over here for a second. The, the thing that I wanted to demonstrate was the butterfly framelits. And they're right here. And I'm also coordinating with this stamp set right here. Okay, so I've already cut... Two, these two big ones out. So there's quite a lot of framelits that you have in the actual whole set. But these big ones are amazing. And if you notice, this one carries the big one and this one carries this. Let me give you a tip in cutting these out. You want to make sure that you don't use your magnetic plate. You want to make sure that you use the the base and the ones that are designed for these framelits because they'll cut. they'll give you the best cutting out. Okay, so those are the framelits. I'm going to go ahead and start with just using the black and black and the white look amazing. So let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. I've got the yo-yo yellow and just the black and white paper. And this is funny because does this ever happen to you when you're stamping in front of people? <laughs> She's like, here, let me fix it. And then you're like, thank you. Okay, so I can just go like that and be done. Okay, or I can go like that and be done. But if you're like me, you have to have some bling on it. 
splatter. Okay, so I'm going to do the bigger black here. And I'm going to, this is our, our champagne mist. And I put it in our ice spritzer and I use it with alcohol. I mean, rubbing the alcohol. <laughs> I don't drink so. <laughs> okay. In the spritzer, yes. Rubbing alcohol in the spritzer. <laughs> Okay, so you'll see these on there. <laughs> so that's just the plain black and white. Let me show you a couple other samples. This is from Janet Baker. She went ahead and cut the butterflies apart and put it on black. All right, and this is from Marsha. She gave this sample to me and used the black with the color behind it. It looks very striking and just pops that black. This one right here is used with a brush -o before, and we used it right here um, with the watercolor paper. So it's very fun to use. And you can also use the DSP and cut out butterflies with the DSP. This is the butterfly DSP. I use the Sizzix adhesive on the front side of the paper. Cut it out then ripped it off and just put dazzling diamonds all over it. And that's the DSP. Yeah, that's the DSP paper. And then this right here is just a wink of Stella, just kind of done out. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do, um, take this and do another watercolor look. And I'm going to do this with Melon Mambo and Old Olive. And actually, I've got the um, Old Olive there and the Melon Mambo. I like to use my elbow like this on the back side because I'm not strong enough to push it down. So there we go, and I've got the aqua painter here. And what I'm gonna do is take this right here, and let me make sure I've got my shimmer. That's the shimmer card stock. And this is my little template right here. So when you cut out this, you're gonna have the negative right here around. You want to save those negatives. I, I like to save them and then just use them. Now let me show you how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and get a lot of water here. It's okay if it's off because it's actually, I've cut it so it can fit. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use a lot of water and just kind of go like this. I kind of want the look of messy. You want lighter and darker because it actually looks better that way. Kind of do the darker in the middle. Tons, tons of water, because I want it to blend. And it's okay if you go out of the lines. You notice you can see that. I'm definitely going out of the lines. This is the shimmer paper, and so it handles the water really well. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead from here and move this, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and take the, the old olive, and I don't want it quite as dark, and I'm just going to go like this. And you're just going to fill in whatever is left over with the old olive. And actually, there was a sample in the catalog of this, but they only used half of the, the framelit. And when I looked at it, I'm like, I wonder if this is how they did it. Do you guys ever do that? Mm -hmm. Trying to figure it out? At least I do. Okay, so then I'm going to come back and get some more of this and just put a little darker in here. Now, normally, I would take my heat tool and just kind of blow it so it can run, the colors can run. But I'm gonna show you the final one. This is it. So you now you can see how when I did the heat tool, it kind of blended more. And look how the pink or the melon mambo is just kind of run out. And we just use the, the white glitter um, designer paper, specialty paper. So that's how you do that. Let me show you a couple more that are done with, Janet did this one. This one right here was done with the brush -o. And if you notice, the behind piece right here is actually the um, uh, man uh, mango. What's the name of the color? <laughs> mango Melody. And then I went ahead and sponged it black because I wanted that to look more like a butterfly. And more brush -o. 
with the black spritzed with the, the glitter. And don't forget to use white. Look how elegant this is. That's the, um, Janet did this with the um, vellum. This is another one of Janet's. The glitter paper is a little bit difficult to cut out, so I'm just telling you right now, you just have to make sure you get the punch tool to be able to get all the little pieces out. But this one is actually raised up with dimensionals behind, and then I sponged underneath using um, the actual, this right here, the template that I made. I took a dauber and I sponged the background, you can see the purple right there. So that's basically this wonderful framelit. And don't forget that you can cut these all apart and double them up on top of each other. And they look amazing. So you can have double butterflies like that. So hope you enjoyed the beauty of bounds and seeing me stamping on the fly. <laughs>